Hello guys, welcome you all to my channel. If this is your first time of coming to my channel, thanks a lot. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. So in today's video, I'm going to be making a simple video on how to cut your one shoulder draping booboo dress, right? Now, this dress is one dress that you can add to your ready-to-wear collection and the fabric I'm using, I'm making use of this thick chiffon fabric, right? Now, the types of fabric to use for these styles, for this particular style is chiffon fabric, your crepe, your lacquer, fabrics that are actually very soft and that can drape properly, okay? So, for fabrics such as African prints, for thick fabrics, it is not advisable you use them for this style because it is not going to give you that draping effect and it's not you're not going to have the draping effect of what we want to achieve in this style so when you are making styles like this make use of soft fabrics that can actually drape well and fall properly now the amount of fabric i'm using i'm making use of three yards of fabric note that you can increase the number of yards it also depends on your size right so the larger the size the larger the amount of fabric and also Another thing you should also um, put into consideration is how full you want it to be. So, the fuller it is and it drapes, the more beautiful your outcome is going to be. So, the first thing I've done now is I've gone ahead to fold my fabric into four. I've folded my fabric into four. And I'll go ahead now and mark our basic measurements. So, we have our shoulder to arm o we have our shoulder to arm o 10 inches shoulder to arm o 10 inches we have our arm o to waist 9 inches arm o to waist we have 9 inches waist to hip 9 inches So we'll go ahead now and connect the lines. Connect the line. We have our hip measurements, our waist and our arm O line. So once you are done with that, the next thing you are going to do now is to take your hip measurement. And this style is not a fitted style, okay? So the style is actually very free. So our hip measurement is 38 inches. So we have 38 divided by 4 plus 2. We have 11 inches, right? We have 11 inches. Now, you should also note that the more inches you add to your initial hip measurement, the more free your dress is going to be. And like I said earlier, this is a very free dress so you can go ahead and add about three to five inches to your initial hip measurement or about six inches it all depends on how free you want it to be so we have 11 inches now i'm going to go ahead and add about four inches to my initial hip measurement so i'm going to have 15 inches so i'll go ahead now and mark that I will go ahead now and mark that on my hip line. Now, these 15 inches we have on the hip line, you will mark these 15 inches also where you have your gown length. You mark it all the way down to your gown length. You mark it all the way down to your gown length. So once you are done marking it now, you will connect it to your gown length, your initial gown length. You go ahead and connect it all the way down. Now, another thing you will also do now is where we have the cow effect of what we want to achieve, you will connect what you have on your hip line, which happens to be your initial, your hip measurement to connect what you have on your hip line now, which we have this all the way to our gown length. You go ahead and connect it to your arm o line. So you go ahead now and connect it to your arm o line this way. So you have to be very careful because this fabric kind of shifts. So you have to be very careful when you are marking it. So this is 
what we have you can see that we already have the cow effect coming up now the next thing we are going to do now where we are going to have our one-sided um part of the dress is where we have our shoulder measurements do now is we'll go ahead and mark our shoulder measurements now when you want to mark your shoulder measurements don't mark your initial shoulder measurements now the reason why i'm going to say this is because we want to achieve one shoulder, right? If you mark your initial shoulder measurements, by the time you are done stitching it, your shoulder is not going to sit properly on, your dress is not going to sit properly on your shoulder. So it is advisable that you deduct one inch from your shoulder measurements. Now, the reason why we are doing that is because the kind of fabric you are, we are using to achieve this style, like I said earlier, is a soft fabric which actually shifts. So if you use your initial shoulder measurements, by the time you are done stitching it, if your shoulder measurement is 7 inches, by the time you are done stitching it, you are going to have about 7.5 or 8 inches. And that is going to be too big to sit on your shoulder. So it is advisable that you deduct 1 inch from your initial shoulder measurements or 1.5 inches. It depends on how tight you want it to be on your shoulder. So my shoulder measurement is 14 inches. So we have 14 divided by 2. We have 7 inches. Now I'm going to go ahead and deduct 1 inch from my shoulder measurement. So I'm going to mark 6 inches instead of marking 7 inches. But by the time I'm done stitching it, when it falls, it either falls to 6.5 or it falls to 7 inches, which is my exact shoulder measurement. So I hope you understand that. So don't mark your initial shoulder measurements on the dress. So our shoulder measurements now, we are going to mark 6 inches. We are going to mark 6 inches, which this is our initial shoulder measurement. Now, you know, go ahead now and mark your sleeve measurements. Your sleeve measurements, my sleeve measurement is 12 inches. So, 12 divided by 2, I have 6. I'm going to add about 1 inch for my hemming allowance. I will mark my 7 inches. So, we've marked it now. We've marked it. Now, what we are going to do now is... You will go ahead now and connect what you have here for your sleeve measurements. You connect what you have to your sleeve measurement to your waistline. You connect this now to your waistline. But note that you are only doing this on one side. Okay, note that you are doing this on one side. So when you want to cut this out, make sure you don't cut out the two pieces together. Okay, let me go ahead now and mark this. Connect this now to your should your waistline. We've gone ahead now to connect this to our waistline. Now, when you want to cut this out, I will advise that you open it up so that you don't mistakenly cut out both sides as your off shoulder side, right? So let's go ahead now and open this up. So after marking this now, we've gone ahead now to cut out um the full booboo -boo dress that we have before we take off where we want to be our one shoulder now you can see the shape of your cow effects and your booboo -boo effect you can see how it's going to fall properly now but what we want to achieve today is one-sided so we'll go ahead now and open this into two We'll go ahead and open this into two now what i'm going to say is make sure you don't cut this out when your fabric is on fold make sure you don't cut this out when your fabric is on fold because if you cut this out 
when your fabric is unfold, you are going to have two sides giving you off shoulder, right? So it's advisable that you cut out your normal draping, then you open up your fabric and then you open up your fabric and then you cut out where you want to be your off shoulder part. So this is what it looks like now. We'll go ahead now and open up the fabric. We've opened up the fabric now. We've opened up the fabric. So we've opened up the fabric. You can see that our lines are not straight. So you just go ahead and straighten it up. So you go ahead and straighten it up. So this becomes where we are going to cut out these straight parts, right? Now, this part here, this line here that we have here is the midpoint. This is the midpoint, that is when your fabric is folded into two, this is the middle point, this is our shoulder measurement, this is our sleeve measurement, connect it up to your waistline. Now, what you are going to do now is this. Go ahead and connect your one side. Now, let's take the other side of our armhole, of our shoulder measurements rather let's take the rest of our shoulder measurement which is six inches so it means that from here to this point is our full shoulder measurement this is our mid point now what you want to achieve now is what you want to achieve now is your off your off shoulder what you want to achieve now is our off shoulder what you are going to do is at this point now at this point Go ahead and connect it to where your sleeve measurement starts from. Go ahead and connect it to where your sleeve measurement starts from. So this is what we are going to have. This is what we are going to have. You can see it. Now, if you want your neckline to be deeper, you can take this curve deeper. If you want it to be higher, you can take this curve higher it depends on how high or low you want your neckline to be so once you are done now let's go ahead now and cut this out so after cutting out the neckline you can see what we have now the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead now and where we have our sleeve measurements we'll go ahead and cut it up to our waistline now because you've opened up the fabric so you can see that it's easier for you to cut this out now so i'll go ahead now and cut this out cutting out this part to be our straight part and then we've cut out the neckline you can see what we have so this part is automatically going to fall this way this part is going to fall this way. You can see the shape already from the neck. This part is going to fall and we have this part being straight. Now, for the other part where we have a cow effect, you can see this other part. You can see this other part giving us our cow effect, right? And you can you discover that the sleeve of this other part is longer. You will see that the sleeve of this other part is longer and this is the part where we have our cow effect. Now, what you are going to do now to stitch this is actually very easy. Now, look at the sleeve of this other part. You will see that what we have here is very little. So by the time you end up hemming it, you will just have like a little sleeve falling as your off shoulder part. So for you to stitch this dress now is very easy. What you are going to do is go ahead and M your neckline. Go ahead and M your neckline with either a bias or facing. Go ahead and M your neckline. After hemming your neckline, you stitch this side all the way. Now, when you want to stitch this part, when you want to stitch this part of your off shoulder, right, you will consider your sleeve length. You will consider your arm because your arm is going to fit into this part so you will go ahead now and mark six inches my round arm is 12 inches divided by two i have six plus half inch for my allowance i'm going to have six and half inches so i'm going to leave this point this is where my arm is going to fit in so i'll go ahead now and stitch from this part all the way down so the first thing you will do is to M your neckline. After M your neckline, 
you mark your round sleeve measurements and then you stitch from this part all the way down. Now, for this other part also, part also, for this other part also, you will also mark your round sleeve measurements. Mark your round sleeve measurements. You also mark your round sleeve measurements and then you follow this curve. You follow the shape you have here for our uh, draping and then we stitch it all the way down to the gown length. So basically, you just you aiming your neckline and stitching the two sides all the way down. Make sure you leave space for your round arm because your hand is going to fit into the place. So after stitching this now, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Now, if you've learned a lot in this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe feel free to drop your questions in the course of this video in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on so let me go ahead now and end the neckline and see the two sides and show you guys what it looks like so guys once you are done aiming the neckline and your sleeve this is what it looks like so you can see how the shoulder falls and then you can see where we have as the off shoulder and the second part with drapes. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.